I know you mentioned the uh, the two weeks of prep work when you when you started on first take. Did you did you know of first take before you got to ESPN? Like, were you aware of the the how, how did you view debate sports debate shows when you were a player before you started getting into media? I tried to black out a lot or block out a lot of media as an athlete because yeah. obviously that's a place before social media was on its rise that was most critical of athletes. And so I would watch in passing. I never would give too much credence to it. But then when I started actually preparing and like start, first of all, I enjoyed the personalities. Yeah. You know, at the time I was like, these people are larger than life characters. And I almost envied a little bit the ability for you know, to be a woman in the space and to be able to be unapologetically yourself and spew out a hot take without retribution of what is going to come. And so um, the way I viewed the show was it was amazing because you only see or think of debates, what high school, political, and now there's a home for where it is in sports. And it's like the barbershop, it's the nail salon, you know? So I always looked, Stephen A is one of my closest mentors to this day you know, um, and he's done so much to empower me in his space and also internally at ESPN alongside Dave Roberts, who also does the same thing for Stephen A. I'll give you a little anecdote. I prepared for the show. I was ready. I had my numbers. I remember they asked me about the Dallas Cowboys. At the time, my best friend at Stanford, his, he's a guy named Ed Reynolds, who was a star cornerback, or sorry, safety, my bad, safety at Stanford. And this rumor, like Stanford at the time, we had Andrew Luck, we had Zach yeah. Ertz, we were balling. Like, it was amazing. Revenge of the Nerds, Richard Sherman. So he was a top NFL player, prospect. And I was like, bro, I'm about to talk about these Cowboys. You got to help prep me. And so he started showing me like some film. And he's like, Sinead, but just, just say this. Jerry Jones always pays players that respect the star. I was like, okay, I'm going to put my take out there and then I'm going to say it. And so I said it. I remember I got so many tweets like, this girl knows her stuff. <laughs> <laughs> and so, like, those are the things that I do. I lean on my friends in areas and experts. And I do think that's a, a, a place where a lot of media gets in trouble at times. We assume because we have the platform, we have the views, we might be the reason why people come, that we are the expert on everything sports. But I do think the dynamics in which we've seen, especially with women's basketball, we're putting other voices forward. I try to do that in my work, lean on the voices of those who know, but also give my my lived experience as a contemporary of the game. So like it sort of has helped mold me for moments that we're in right now. And lastly, I'll say this. So I went on that show. It was great. They kept you know having me back for like, oh, we can have you as like a substitute here or there. But that was maybe once or twice a month. And I had to build more reps. The next time that I really got a role on first take was probably two years later. So let's say this was 2015, around 2017 when I was filling in. I never thought that I had two major injuries. The second injury was an Achilles injury. I was at home in Houston, you know, Houston, Texas. This is before I got a full-time position at ESPN. I'd wake up every day. I'd be there with my parents because all my sisters are out there being great. Um, I'd wake up with my parents, you know, my parents would be there to help take, like I couldn't walk, yeah. you know, crawl and all that type of stuff for a couple months. And every day I'd wake up and I'd watch the news and then I'd turn on first take and I just fell in love with it. I fell in love with everything about it. I never knew that a year later, Stephen A would say, hey, Chanel, I want you to be a debater, a regular debater with me talking about not just women's issues, but also NBA. So like that was the power of yes, that was the power of positivity and also just, you know, going on the Pac-12 network and interviewing mascots and doing all these different roles and assignments hosting Sports Center Africa, you never know in life when you're at your lowest point where life will go if you just keep going, you know? And that was, my parents even know, like they see me on ESPN, but they also see the little girl that was laying down for four months, couldn't walk. And they said that she, you know, all my friends and family never tell me I'm crazy for my dreams and it's really lived up to my dreams. So I'm blessed. How does doing first take with Stephen A. Smith compare to doing it without him? Like you, you, you got those couple of reps early on than, than doing it with Stephen A. Smith? I think it's always better when he's there just because you know what to expect. I know exactly, uh, like, the first few years, I would say the first year, <clears throat> year or so, I was like, dang, I want to take it to him, but how do I get to him? How do I get under his skin? And then I figured it out. I know what he does. Whenever you have a good point, he starts, like, deflecting, throwing in some other things. here. I'm like, no, 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 no. We're going to stick to this subject, Stephen A. Yeah, you got to bring it back. You got to bring it back. You got to whip it around. So I started learning how to... Not only like I think oftentimes we get so caught up in debates trying to be right that you also want to 
people just want to have fun. Yeah. Sometimes people take debates too serious. And I'm someone that is like, hey, let's bring a little bit pop culture in here. Stephen A, I know you like to be in Miami. Let's talk about Miami because I'm in Miami sometimes. You know, so I try to infuse a little bit of lightness, positivity, happiness into that climate because I do know with a lot of the guests, it can get tense.